Yo, what's up everyone? This is JR back with another video. And before we get into this, make sure you guys check out my Instagram and Twitter. It'll be on the screen, links in the description. Alright, so this is about the time my parents found my YouTube channel. And it wasn't my channel, but they found stories for my YouTube channel. And it was pretty crazy. So this happened when I was 14, before I had the channel, like I said. So before I started, I'd have a whole list of stories that happened in my life that I had on a piece of paper and I put it in a folder. So there was stories like first time smoking weed and you know a couple others that I don't really want to say because I don't want y'all to get hyped up for them and I not post them for a minute. Anyways, I was right in there of what happened in these stories and it was like three pages long and I kept it in my dresser drawer under all my stuff. So this was a normal day. I woke up, got dressed, ate, went to school. You know, the usual. You know, I probably fucked around Cause that's what I always did mostly because you know school is whack so anyways I get off the bus get home and I walk up inside and I'm going to my room and my mom is just like so what's this I found and I was like what are you talking about because I actually had no idea what she was talking about so she goes out of the room and comes back with that sheet and has all my stories on it and I will tell you there are plenty of stories she did not know about and stuff she probably didn't want to know about so she threw it at me and she was pissed. She's like, she's asking me all these questions like, what it is? And I was like, it's fake stories for YouTube. And my mom immediately, immediately was like, that is bullshit. So she started screaming at me like, what the fuck you been doing? Asking me like, who did you have sex with, huh? And I was like, oh shit. And I was like, nobody. I was like, it's fake stories. And she's like, oh really? So when did you f first smoke weed? Hmm, tell me that. And I was like, oh jeez. So I was like, dude, I'm fucked right now. Like, there ain't no way getting out of this. And by the way, they're all real stories. No fake ones. I'm not one of those people. You know, she asked me, when were you ding-dong dishing and got caught asking me all these crazy questions? And I'm like, it's all fake stories, mom. There's like, barely of them are real. And she's like, oh, really? So then which ones are real? And I was like, I can't name them unless I look at it. She threw me the paper. There's no way I was going to tell her which ones were, were you know, real because I, you know, whole thing was real my mom gets my dad inside and i'm like fuck dude like come on this can't get any worse he comes in my heart drop so my parents got so pissed off when i told them that you know all these stories are fake you know because they knew i was lying and they just started screaming at me and i'm like you know i just kept denying it and basically they just kind of gave up and they ripped up the paper right in front of me which kind of sucked because I, pr I probably forgot a couple stories I was like, I, I wrote a new one, but... So they didn't say anything, and they haven't ever since till today. But, anyways, moral of the story is, don't be stupid and have stories on a piece of paper in your drawer. Like, just put it on your phone so they can't find it, you know? That was it for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.